Yeah, great. Uh, well, uh, first, I would thank the organizer to give me uh, this opportunity to present our recent uh, uh, work uh, in this wonderful workshop. Um, so uh, this is a uh, 2D vendor spin system, actually. Uh, so uh, I would uh, mainly talk about this uh, uh, magical material uh, called uh, magnet uh, piece material, right? Uh, so uh, here's my outline. So uh, since the 2D system can be exfoliated from 3D, so uh, uh, actually, this uh, this magic material has uh, uh, interesting property in both 3D and 2D. So uh, I would like to start from this uh, uh, action response from the 3D topological insulators, uh, and then I will talk about this uh, quantized anonymous Hall effect and the topological magneto electric effect. Uh, then I will talk about this uh, intrinsic magnetic topological states uh, in this material. Then and then finally, I will talk about our, our recent proposal on this. Uh, uh, twisted bilayer uh, uh, of this material, uh, which can uh, form the flight chain band. So, uh, from the general theory uh, of topological insulators, uh, we know that uh, uh, besides of this uh, uh, conventional uh, <coughs> Maxwell Lagrangian, uh, uh, we have a, a lot of additional term uh, which can be a form of the uh, E dot B uh, uh, with the theta term. Uh, you can see that uh, this term. Uh, is uh, uh, has a, a fully uh, a, a, a rotational symmetry. So, uh, so uh, for this uh, Maxwell action, you know that so this is a conventional Maxwell action where you apply an electric field, uh, you get a, a, a charge polarization. Where ap you apply a magnetic field, you get a magnetization. Uh, so this is, uh, but uh, this term, you can see this. Uh, this term is uh, uh, for uh, periodic. Uh, this term is. Uh, uh, e dot B. So uh, when you apply an electric field, you will get uh, a magnetization. Where uh, you apply a, a magnetic field, you will get charge polarization. So this is a magneto electric term. So uh, for time uh, periodic system, uh, the system is time uh, virtual symmetric only when uh, you have uh, uh, two terms. Uh, two, uh, so uh, namely, uh, when the system is time virtual invariant, uh, the theta, uh, which breaks time virtual symmetry as well as breaks inversion symmetry, can take only two values. Well, one is theta equal to zero, which describes the trivial insulator. The other is uh, uh, theta equal to pi, which de describes the uh, non-trivial insulator. We call it a topological insulator. So, uh, so uh, basically, uh, when you uh, do the uh, euler lagrange equation, uh, you get uh, this uh, Maxwell uh, uh, equation. So uh, besides of the conventional Maxwell equation, you get an additional term. That additional term uh, means this uh, uh, B term gives you uh, the charge polarization, where the electric field gives the magnetization. That's the uh, uh, topological contribution to this uh, 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 magneto electric. So uh, this is the basics uh, of the uh, field theory description of topological insulators, uh, where uh, this P3 term, where we also call it a theta, can be uh, calculated from this uh, uh, microscopy from the synthetic term of the momentum space of the uh, band structure. So uh, for, for topological into theta equal to pi, so uh, what's uh, the importance of this uh, field theory description? Because uh, the most important and interesting question is that we know that uh, for 3D topological interest on the surface, you have the uh, gapless uh, surface dual cone, but uh, 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 with the uh, conserved the time of symmetry, but uh, when you break the time of symmetry, uh, the surface dual cone will be gapped. Right. That's uh, very simple. But uh, the most interesting is that uh, when you have a feral magnetic domain wall on the surface, you will get uh, the gapless carrier edge mode uh, residing on this domain wall boundary. So uh, because uh, that's very simple, because uh, for this uh, feral domain wall, you get uh, this up uh, domain and a down domain, uh, which both uh, gap the surface dual cone. But uh, at the domain wall boundary, the feral magnet is in plane which will not gap the, uh, the, 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 the gapless uh, dual cone. So, uh, so this uh, gapless uh, uh, domain wall boundary, you get a carrier edge mode. So this can be understood uh, also from the uh, uh, theta description. So you have this uh, topological insulator with theta equal to pi, but uh, you have two ferromagnetic magnetic insulator with trivial theta equal to zero. Then you can see that uh, this is a domain wall boundary where the theta uh, rotate uh, from here to here to here to here, uh, rotated by two pi. And this two pi rotation guarantees that there will be a gapless mode of this uh, domain wall boundary. So this is the basis of the quantum anonymous Hall effect because uh, you can think of this uh, this uh, configuration 
and at the back, it tune this Fermat insulator to the bottom of the topological insulator. You get this Fermat structure because basically in this, because the top surface, the Fermat direction is the same as the surface normal, but in the bottom, the Fermat direction is anti-parallel to the surface normal. So basically this Fermat configuration, you have the domain wall boundary on the side surface, and uh, then you get the chiral uh, uh, gapless uh, edge mode on the side surface. This is the basis of a quantum anomaly effects. Namely, you have only topological insulation in thin film, or uh, then you get a top and bottom surface with fair magnetism, you, you, get, you will get a quantum anomaly effect. So uh, this uh, theoretical uh, proposal uh, finally uh, uh, realized uh, uh, in a chromy dubbed bismuth antimony terrorite, well, because the uh, bismuth antimony terrorite is a topological insulator with magnetic doping, you get the dilute magnetic, like uh, dilute magnetic semiconductors, you get uh, a fair magnetism. But uh, uh, at, uh, this is the whole uh, recent measurement. You can see that at the uh, zero uh, external magnetic field, the whole resistance uh, can be quantized at h over e square or minus h over square, depending on the direction of the magnetization, uh, where the longitudinal uh, resistance uh, approaching minimum. So this is the first realization of this quantized autonomous effect uh, in, in chromic uh, topological insulating material. Uh, but uh, what about uh, 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 topological magneto electric effect? Because uh, we know that the topological insulating uh, system has this theta E dot B uh, description, which describe uh, uh, magneto electric field, linear magneto electric field. Or why we call it the topological? Because this is isotropic. Uh, then how to realize this? Because uh, the, the, the relation is very simple. You can have this uh, uh, simple hyper uh, uh, structure where you get a, a topological insulating thin film where top and the bottom surface, you have two frame insulators with different coercivity field. Uh, so when you have this uh, parallel magnetization, you get the quantized anonymous hole where the top and the bottom surface, uh, both of them give you one half of the uh, whole conductance. This uh, one half plus one half gives you one, right? But uh, uh, for, up, uh, for anti-parallel configuration, where the top and bottom have anti-parallel conf uh, magnetic configuration, you get uh, zero whole conductance, right? But uh, this zero whole conductance actually is the basis for um, a topological magneto electric effect. Uh, people usually call this state as the axion insulating state. So uh, it's basically, uh, you to realize this topological magneto electric effect, you need the T breaking surfaces, so uh, which is gapped by the fair magnetism. Also, you have the full insulating state in a bulk, uh, and then uh, you you need to uh, have finite side effect because this theta is only quantized in three dimension, which equals theta to pi in three dimension. But in uh, in thin film case, uh, theta is uh, long quantized uh, deviated from pi, but you still you get this. Uh, uh, Isotropic topological magneto electric field. So uh, let's uh, give a brief uh, comparison between the quantized anonymous effect and the topological magneto effect. Well, uh, for the quantum anonymous effect, you get the parallel uh, uh, fair magnetization on top and bottom surface, and both of them give you one half of the whole conductance. Then total, you get the chiral edge mode of the whole conductance plus one or minus one. You get the T breaking surface, uh, and where the gap is. Uh, carry edge mode is reside on the domain wall boundary, which in this case is basically on a side surface. And uh, also uh, you get to the uh, four interim state and the 2D system. But for action interim uh, insulator, uh, you get to this uh, anti-parallel configuration where the whole conductance is zero. You also get tip breaking surface, but there's no magnetic domain because the, the surface normal is always parallel to the magnetization direction then there's no gapless edge or hinge mode. So it's also for insulating. And uh, it's basically quantized in 3D, but in 2D, you have the finite side effect where theta deviates from pi. So how to realize this uh, uh, quantum anomalous hole and action insulating in a single pristine material? That's what uh, we propose. Uh, so uh, we play a simple model that you can see that uh, if you play a uh, uh, chromid or uh, uh, magnet of the uh, topological interest and you uh, uh, combine them as a super lattice, then you will get uh, uh, many interesting uh, faces uh, as uh, accent insulating, YSI middle, or 3D quantum hole. But uh, uh, 
that's at that time we play with this uh, chromium or uh, uh, this is a magnetopter topology series. But so then we find that there's a very interesting material called uh, magnet uh, bis materialite. Uh, this is a uh, one two four system. It's very simple. Uh, because uh, bis materialite is a topological insulator with has a quintuple layer. Uh, bis materialite, uh, a bis materialite, bis mass. And this uh, a one two four system is very is also very simple. That you can think of this one two four system is by uh, inserting uh, intercalating bis materialite quintuple layer. Uh, one layer of magnet terride inserting into the one uh, quintuple layer of uh, bismuth terride. So they form a septuple layer. So this is a, 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 a native structure of this material. And uh, interesting that uh, this system develops uh, anti uh, magnetism uh, uh, along this direction. Uh, uh, also, uh, it keeps uh, uh, the topological interesting property of bismuth terride. So it's the basis of the it's a basic, uh, uh, or I, I would call it a hydrogen atom of uh, uh, magnetic topological insulators. Uh, so uh, you can see that uh, uh, from the uh, first plane calculation, the, uh, this uh, uh, real type of Z direction anti frame magnetism is, uh, uh, has a, is a ground state. And so uh, you can see that uh, uh, for, for each layer, for each mono uh, quintup, uh, septuple layer, it's frame magnetism. Uh, but for a uh, bi layer, uh, bi uh, septuple layer, is uh, uh, anti fermion coupled. Uh, but the well in plane uh, is uh, uh, for the in plane, uh, uh, the, uh, the magnets are coupled to ferromagnetic along their direction. So, uh, what's interesting for this material, uh, as I said previously, that uh, this material uh, has both the uh, property of magnetism from the uh, magnet terrorite and also the topological insulating property from the bismuth terrorite. So uh, you can see that uh, we have a band structure calculation. That's uh, this this the band structure without SOC. And uh, but when you apply SOC, you will see a binding version on gamma uh, uh, around the gamma points. So this is the basis of the binding version for topological insulators. Uh, then you will see uh, this uh, uh, Z2 index where because uh, although the time reversal symmetry is uh, broken, but uh, you still have uh, uh, another symmetry called this. Uh, 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 sorry, uh, sorry for this. Uh, so we call this uh, S symmetry, which is time reversal symmetry plus a uh, half translation along the direction when it's formed anti ferromagnetically. So uh, this is a new uh, anti unitary symmetry. And uh, so uh, uh, this will define the uh, uh, Z2 number, which we calculate is uh, plus one. So this is basically uh, uh, means this system is topological non trivial. Also, we can calculate the uh, confirm is by the Wilson loop calculation. So, uh, what does this mean? It means that uh, this system is a topological insulating system. So, uh, you, it must have the bulk uh, uh, edge correspondence. So, when you uh, project on the side surface where uh, it's preserved the edge symmetry, namely the time loss of plus a half transition, you will have a gapless uh, a Dirac on the side surface. But so when you have a, a, a project on the top surface where it breaks this asymmetry, the surface still will be gapped. So, uh, so all this about, uh, uh, all of this about a three D system. What about uh, why? Because this is a two D uh, conference. So why it's interesting in two D? Because that's the uh, interesting about the uh, magnetic right? So uh, this this material is a binary material and very easy to uh, exfoliate. Uh, so uh, you can you can see uh, theoretically that uh, for even layer because the spin or the magnetization is uh, uh, anti-parallel uh, along this direction. So for even layer, you have up down up down uh, configuration. Uh, then you have this conserved inversion plus temporal symmetry. From this symmetry, uh, the whole conductance is zero. Uh, basically, this uh, even layer is actually an insulating state as I, uh, we talked about previously. But for all the layers. Uh, it breaks uh, this combining symmetry, and uh, this system has the binding version in three D. It's also it's also a lead to this binding version in two D. So the whole conductance is uh, uh, it's quantized into uh, uh, plus minus e square over h. So you can see uh, from the binding structure calculation that uh, uh, for three uh, uh, septuple layer and the five septuple layer, the whole resistance is quantized uh, into plus one. So that's the basis for this. Uh, 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 this material that's uh, you have the uh, interesting uh, even order effect uh, where for uh, even layer is actually into state uh, where for all the layers it gives you the quantized anonymous homogeneity. 
So, uh, so the observation for this material is done by uh, Yuan Bozhang's group in our department. That uh, you can see that uh, this is uh, for five septum layers. Um, so you can see that at uh, uh, one point four Kelvin, the whole resistance is almost uh, quantized, like uh, ninety seven percent of quantization. Where the longitudinal uh, resistance is uh, uh, is very small. Also, you can uh, uh, apply this. Uh, uh, by, but uh, in, for this configuration, uh, the, uh, the, the magnetization is up, down, up, down, up. So you can apply auto plane external magnetic field to flip this uh, uh, magnetization one layer by one layer. You can see from here that uh, you can flip one layer by one layer, and you, can, you will see this, uh, uh, this quantum lump so transfer gap, which uh, uh, extracts uh, from the annulus plot from Rxx uh, increases. Uh, uh, when you apply external magnetic field, uh, that basically means the magnetization are flipped by the external magnetic field. So, uh, uh, so this uh, prelim preliminary uh, result on this uh, magnetic material has already uh, 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 has well contradiction, which has already compared with the best results from this uh, uh, magnetic doped topological insulating thin film. Well, uh, in Tukura's group, that uh, you get this. Uh, 98% of this uh, whole conductance or resistance quantization of the 2K wave. So uh, this uh, is the first uh, realization of the quantum alumnus effect uh, in pristine uh, you know, 2D materials. And you can also see that uh, uh, when you grow a buffer material and you can exfoliate uh, into a different uh, cyclic, that's one, two, three, uh, et cetera. And you can see that uh, uh, for uh, this is uh, this, this data is from the uh, different sample. So you can see this is three layer and five layer. You can see that uh, the core uh, the quantization is uh, quantized uh, when you uh, flip all uh, the magnetization. Where for four even layer, you will see zero whole resistance. This is a uh, uh, possible uh, action eating state uh, in this system. Uh, also, in this system, uh, because this is a, a pristine material, it has a, a like a, a good quality of the uh, sample. So you will basically have this, uh, uh, you can tune the baggage. So basically they see this, uh, uh, whole, uh, this is the quantum numbers of the zero field. But so you, when you apply this uh, uh, gate voltage uh, by shifting to uh, electron dope, you will see that uh, 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 also apply external magnetic field, you will see the quantization to half contact the system. Uh, namely, this is a con this is a con where the whole resistance is h over two e square. Uh, this is basically a quantum hall and a quantum lumps of coexistence in all the layers. Uh, this is a rooming of this uh, uh, data where uh, you can see that uh, for uh, 14 Tesla, you will see uh, the, the longitudinal resistance is zero and uh, zero, uh, almost zero again, where the whole resistance you get uh, one and one half. Or this is a uh, basis of the quantum numbers or two quantum numbers or quantum whole coexistence. And uh, the basic picture is uh, from the uh, top to bottom surface uh, direct, uh, 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 cone, where uh, in quantum numbers, so you have this uh, chemical potential in this uh, 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 magnetic induced uh, dual gap. But uh, when you uh, uh, apply the uh, bottom gate, you will shift the chemical potential in the uh, in top surface. And you, you will get this, uh, because the bottom gate, uh, you, you, for this, there's only one bottom gate, so then uh, when you introduce a uh, uh, gate voltage, uh, you, you will introduce the, uh, uh, the extra carrier, also uh, you uh, introduce the inversion temperature breaking. So the top and the bottom surface has a different, uh, uh, different uh, dual cone uh, position. So basically you only uh, uh, shift to this, uh, uh, across this top surface, the first uh, lambda level. So you'll get this uh, uh, mu equal to two uh, quantum uh, lumps or quantum hall equidistant. So uh, uh, before I uh, go to detail, uh, I will talk about another uh, interesting thing is that uh, for, for this material, you will also can get this uh, uh, higher plateau uh, 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 quantum lumps, so which we namely call the uh, multi-channel carrier edge state. Uh, basically, uh, when you increase the cyclic of the system and uh, keep you uh, the, uh, the exchange coupling from the uh, magnets uh, uh, finite, then you will get to this uh, higher uh, trend number quantum anomalous hole. Uh, actually, this has been uh, uh, reported uh, in uh, uh, Wang Jian's group in PKU, that uh, they uh, get to, uh, 10 uh, septa layer ferromagnetic uh, magnet, uh, 
uh, Bismuth terrorite by external magnetic field, you will see the quantization of the whole resistance uh, quantized into one half of uh, H over E square. So, uh, so what about the uh, actual insulating state? So actually the first action insulating state was the first uh, 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 possible action insulating state was first uh, uh, realized in uh, Tokura's group. That's uh, uh, where they uh, use this uh, pentalayer structure where you get uh, 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 chromate of the bismuth territe and topological bismuth territe and uh, chromate of the uh, bismuth territe. And you, when you have this uh, inversion symmetry, sorry, uh, where top and bottom have the same uh, covering, uh, covering, you will see this uh, perfect uh, quantization of whole conductance, one to minus one transition, this no zero. But uh, uh, when you have inversion symmetry breaking, uh, namely the top and the bottom uh, uh, magnetic doped topological interest may have a uh, different coercivity field. You will see uh, from one to minus one uh, whole conductance uh, uh, transition, you have a zero uh, whole conductance, where the longitudinal uh, conductance is almost a zero. So this is the first uh, uh, possible uh, realization of the action instrumenting state. Uh, what about uh, magnet uh, terrain? So uh, previously we see the four SL uh, in Yuan Bose data, but uh, here uh, we have uh, more uh, uh, concrete data from uh, Wang Yu's group. In Tsinghua University, you see that uh, you have this uh, six septal layer uh, with uh, uh, anti-ferromagnetic configuration. Then you will see that this uh, uh, whole resistance is uh, uh, zero uh, in a large range of this uh, external magnetic field. You will see this is the uh, action instrument in state, but uh, when you uh, when you uh, apply ex uh, enough external autofine magnetic field uh, and flip this uh, anti ferromagnetic configuration to ferromagnetic configuration, you will get this uh, chain insert in state or quantum lumps of insert state. Uh, uh, so that's the uh, very uh, strong uh, evidence of this uh, action insert in state in this system. But how to measure this? How to measure this uh, topological uh, magnetic inactive effects uh, in, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, in, uh, in this action instrument state. Uh, here we propose a very simple proposal that uh, uh, you apply a uh, ACB field. Uh, because, of, because of the whole resistance is zero, so you only see this whole re uh, conductance or uh, resistance equal to zero. But uh, a trivial insulation or Anderson insulation always also give you the same uh, uh, zero whole resistance. So uh, how to uh, differentiate from them? Uh, one uh, possible uh, proposal is that uh, when you apply an ACB field along X direction, uh, then you will get to this uh, circulating electric field uh, uh, due to Faraday law of induction uh, on top and bottom surface, where top and bottom surface has opposite uh, electric field. Then uh, in this configuration, uh, action instrumenting configuration, where the top surface and the bottom surface has opposite uh, whole conductance, half quantized whole conductance, then uh, the total, uh, the top and the bottom is, uh, then will give you the same direction, whole current, right? So this whole current is the same direction of the external B field. So basically you apply an AC B field, then you, you can measure this uh, same direction, uh, AC uh, in, initial current, and this initial current will give you this quantization of this uh, theta term. <clears throat> which basically is the topological magnetic electric field. So uh, finally, I will talk about a very uh, simple proposal that's uh, from this uh, twisted uh, 2D by septa layer of uh, magnets terrain basement. For uh, for mono layer uh, 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 one two four, you have uh, uh, this is a one unit cell. So this is a septa layer. Uh, for one unit, you have septa layer and the two. A uh, bilayer of septa layer, namely, you have the 14 layers, right? 14 layers, because uh, one molar layer is uh, seven layer, right? So um, this idea is, uh, the, what's the motivation? Is the motivation is to get a time reversal breaking a uh, flat chain band in a single particle level. Because for twisted bilayer graphene, you, know, you get a perfect, uh, uh, almost a flat band, and you get a, a superconductivity, or you also get a quantum anomalous hole. But uh, in a single particle level, in a single particle level, uh, the chain number is a valid chain number because uh, the system is time reversal invariant. So uh, to get a uh, uh, long trivial, uh, uh, strongly interacting uh, physics, uh, we like to, uh, in a single particle level, we, we would like to get the time reversal breaking flat chain band. So uh, we, uh, we uh, propose this system uh, calculates this band structure. You can, you can see that in a single particle level, 
for uh, for this system for Fermat case uh, for two cases for Fermat case uh, you get uh, this uh, uh, flat chain band from uh, in you know, a valence band where the tuning angle is around uh, uh, the twisting angle is, uh, is about one degree and you also uh, need to apply this uh, uh, gate voltage uh, to get to the up uh, layer uh, up layer and uh, bottom layer uh, uh, chemical potential difference because uh, without this uh, uh, staggered layer potential the system has this uh, C2T symmetry. So C2C, C2T symmetry, uh, uh, which guarantees the system has uh, 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 the hot conductance is zero. So to have long zero hot conductance, you need to have this C2T symmetry breaking, uh, which is simply by applying the staggered layer potential, which is also used in twisted by graphene. Uh, this is a, a platform for this uh, possibly uh, fractionalized uh, contact lumps or fractionalized uh, chain space. You also, uh, we also check this uh, for uh, FM case, where uh, you have this uh, uh, also gets some uh, flat chain band, but uh, you can see here also get some flat chain band. But uh, the case, uh, the problem is that also here you need, here you need, you need, you need, you need, you need, you need see the target near potential. But the problem is that uh, for FM case, uh, this uh, almost a flat chain band is uh, a lot very separated from a bottom uh, band. So, uh, so uh, maybe this uh, uh, Fermat case is better for uh, uh, this uh, flat chain band physics. Uh, and finally, I would like to talk about uh, a proposal uh, we proposed uh, several years ago that uh, we may get this uh, chiral topological superconductivity from this quantum lump so plateau transitions. That's uh, you can think of this uh, uh, quantum lump so with a superconductor. Uh, uh, if you have this uh, uh, quantum nozzle with a single carrier edge mode, you can think of the, this carrier edge mode is a complex fermion. You can think of this com uh, uh, complex fermion as two chiral Majorana fermion, because Majorana just means uh, uh, the uh, real fermion, right? So uh, then you can see that uh, because, uh, but, but in the quantum nozzle case, these two real chiral Majorana fermion uh, are degenerate because of this. Uh, 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 because of this uh, U1 symmetry, right? You have the charge conservation, but uh, uh, when you apply this uh, superconducting proximity, uh, this degeneracy between these two uh, caramel and fermion uh, are decoupled. And uh, Y is uh, uh, approaching into the bulk uh, by uh, increasing the superconducting proximity coupling uh, and finally uh, 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 disappear. And uh, uh, then uh, the other Y on, uh, only exists. Uh, so this is the one we call the chiral topological superconductor with a single chiral matter fermion. So you can think of, uh, you have this transition from the quantum lumps hall to a uh, normal uh, insulator. And you apply a superconductor proximity, you get this uh, 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 topological superconductor with two chiral matter fermion. Then you will get this uh, uh, normal superconductor with uh, zero uh, chiral matter fermion. But in between, you always get this uh, uh, all the chain number uh, chiral topological superconductor, which is uh, with all the chain number uh, chiral minor fermion. So uh, this chiral minor fermion uh, is uh, an intermediate phase when you speak, sweep the uh, external magnetic field, when you uh, uh, attach quantum lumps hall with uh, uh, S-wave superconductor, then uh, by uh, changing this uh, uh, external magnetic field, the quantum lumps uh, will have this quantum lumps to normal initial transition, but with finite uh, superconducting proximity, you always get this uh, uh, chiral topological superconductor with uh, um, single chiral minor fermion. And for single chiral minor fermion, you have they have a very uh, similar property of this uh, uh, single uh, single uh, zero mode in the vortex core. It also can do the uh, same thing that uh, uh, braiding uh, uh, and Hadamard gates. So that's the thing uh, we would like to explore uh, for uh, from this. Uh, uh, intrinsic uh, 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 topological insulating uh, uh, 2D materials. So finally, uh, I would like to uh, talk about uh, this uh, uh, future direction that uh, uh, we would like to expect uh, this uh, zero field uh, quantum lump cell effects or the even higher temperature by improving uh, the uh, sample quality and also this uh, uh, experimental realization of the uh, topological magneto inertia effects and axial inertia dynamics from this uh, uh, even layer sample also, we propose that uh, this flat chain band uh, may exist uh, in this uh, twisted bilayer uh, uh, 124, and which is promising uh, for this uh, fractionalized uh, quantum lump And also, this uh, quantum lump in this 
pristine material uh, uh, together with the subcontinent heat structure uh, is very promising to realize this uh, chiral forming. And uh, finally, I would acknowledge my collaborators. Uh, thank you very much.